Hello, I'm the Santa animatronic from the game, your Flash Sand game. I have come to exact revenge on you because you are a wretched YouTuber that no one loves. Please make better content because I have been getting real sick of the tutorials. Get better at coding you dumb idiot dumb stupid dumb dee dumb dumb that lacks the proper skill to create- Alright, we're back with Finds of Phase 3. Um, so, in this episode, we're going to be making the um, Phantom Animatronics. So, I just created four new sprites. The first one is just like a guy on the camera. It's just a big, big phantom guy on the camera. Um, just move him off to the side a little bit. Uh, the second sprite I made is the office guy. Um, let's move him over right here. For the office one, needs to be important. You have the the main little guy, and you also need to have like a clear box that has the opacity set to one. And this will come into play later. So just have a like clear box here behind him, and then just have your guy here. Then I made the jump scares for him, just pretty simple, then have him turn to black and white at the end. Same thing for this guy, except this side. So yeah. So first thing we're going to do is add the camera animatronic, and this code's pretty interesting. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to have him set so he appears on cam 4. Um, so every time you click the cam for it will set his value to a random number and if it goes to the number that you want it to spawn in, it will spawn. So what we're going to do is uh, when I receive cam1, hide, make a new variable, call it cam and um, we're going to set Cam Phantom zero, and uh, you know what we're gonna do is duplicate that for all the other cameras other than Cam four, Cam five, Cam six, Cam three, Cam two. So you have all that. Do when the sprites clicked, go to zero zero. And hide. Then what you want to do is when I receive cam for set uh, set cam phantom to pick random one to ten. Then what you want to do is of course add when I receive uh, cam down. When I receive cam down. Uh, hide and set cam phantom to zero. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is when I receive in game. When I receive uh, in game. I'm gonna make a forever here. Then. If so, if cam phantom equals one, we're going to hide and do that for everything except nine. Cam random equals three, hide. Cam phantom equals four, hide. Cam phantom equals Five hide six seven eight and ten. So when I see in game if the campaign is equal one through to ten, not nine, it'll hide. Hi. Right. 
So a picks random when we go to cam four. If it's if it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, it'll hide. But then if I receive cam four, if cam phantom equals nine and and cam signal equals s you want it, him to show then you need him to wait three seconds make an if else if else so if If cam phantom equals nine, if camera signal equals yes, and if the cam number equals four, camera number equals four, broadcast, uh, make a new message. I'm gonna call it cam phantom. Cam random jump scare, and then in the else, do hide, and then set cam phantom to zero. Okay, so this is all the code you need for here. If I'm not mistaken, for right now, obviously, we're gonna add more stuff later because you know, um, clean it up. So, this is everything you need here. Now we need to actually do the camera man jump scare thing. Um, so this jump scare the code's going to be pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So it's going to be flag is clicked, go to zero zero, hide. It feels like I say that way too often. Um, when I receive the camera phantom jump scare thing, went to broadcast. Uh, Cam down, show, uh, set ghost effect to zero, set ghost effect to zero, and switch to costume one, wait 0 0.2 seconds, 0 0.2 seconds, repeat five times or how many other more costumes you have other than costume one three five times next costume wait another two seconds repeat 50 times 50 times uh, change ghost effect change ghost effect by two hide and then set camera signal camera signal to no so if you get done clear by the phantom camera he'll disable your cameras to mean free self commentary but it looks pretty good see he comes in and of course the camera's on he'll show up jump scare you and your cameras aren't going to do anything so you have to fix it And you can see every time I uh, go on to pick different cameras, it switches to camera, camera phantom, go on to four, the camera phantom equals two, so he didn't spawn in. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, Try to get nine here. Here we go. Look at him for too long. He jump scares you. All right, that works pretty well. You could set it to like maybe if it's like nine and four or something, maybe. 
I just have it as nine. So it's still there, but it's just kind of rare. Um, also, make sure to set the costumes. So make sure to make it. Yeah, make sure it goes back a few layers so it's behind like the static. For real. All right, so that's the camera phantom, and um, yeah. Next thing we got to work on is the uh, the office office phantom guy. So his code's pretty straightforward too. It means a lot more stuff into his, but yeah. So first thing I do is obviously go flag is clicked, go to zero zero. Hide. Then when I receive uh, in game, set ghost effect to 100. Set ghost effect to 100, and then hide. And then when I receive, uh, make a new message. Call it office. Phantom attack. Are you off a phantom attack? Show set ghost effects to a hundred. Repeat fifty times. Change ghost effect by negative two. Change ghost effect to negative two. I negative two. Um Wait five seconds. And what you want to do is if else, if touching mouse pointer broadcast a uh, new message, call it office. Fan, phantom jump and he'll jump scare you and do hide else uh, set ghost effect to zero change ghost effect by positive to hide and then broadcast new message call it Reset Phantom. Okay. And yeah. Uh when I then make a new one called when I receive uh in game I can find that in game uh If the night equals one, if night equals one, pick random. Wait, so pick, pick random fifty, sixty seconds broadcast. Uh, phantom attack, office phantom attack, then duplicate this and do when I receive reset phantom. So, yeah, when I receive reset phantom, if, if night equals one, pick random 50 to whatever seconds. Um, then, what you want to do is make it so each night progressively gets harder. Like one, two, and three, it spawns more frequently. So 40, 50, 30, 40. And just do that for both of them. Hey, yeah. Then do when I receive. When I receive in game forever. Um, if. 
maintenance monitor equals up. Maintenance monitor equals up. Go to A1 by zero. Else set mouse to X to uh, mouse X. Mouse X multiply by negative 0.50. So basically the gimmick with this guy is that if you look at him for too long or if your mouse is on his hitbox for too long, which means you're basically looking at him, then he'll come and get you. So then for his jump scare, what you want to do is copy the code from the camera jump scare and just switch it to office phantom jump. And the one flag is click thing, and then set set a sound signal to no, and sound count to zero. So when he spawns in here. Now, if you put your mouse, if you look at him for too long, he jump scares you. We should be, we should be moving. <laughs> but he comes in, you know, if you look straight at him, then he jump scares you. If you look away, he doesn't. And he goes away. Uh, also, for the office jump scare thing, just get rid of broadcast cam down. <laughs> this is the code we need for jump scare. Phantom office. This guy, the other guy, and yeah, and make sure to save your project and get rid of all the variables. Alright, so it's pretty good. Also, don't forget to uh, make sure he's behind a few layers. I'll just show him. Let's uh, graphic text, show him, go backward a few layers so he's like standing behind the button there. And yeah. So if he comes in, you know, he's like looking at you. If you put your mouse on him or look at him for too long, he jump scares you. Okay. Um, last thing we're going to do is just add some sounds. So office phantom attack. We're just going to have these. This bell one. Glass breaking. So we're going to do start sound, glass breaking. Horse and the bell, and just do that for both jump scares. So it jump scares you, it gives some, uh, gives some time. Also, get rid of the wait 0 0.2 seconds for for the office one, so we just instantly there you go. Let's make sure it's here. That looks pretty good. Um yeah. That's about it for this episode because I don't really want to do anything else today. Um probably the next episode we're gonna actually dive into the real animatronic spring trap, whatever you want to call them. But yeah. That's it so far. Well, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. Um, like, it'd be kind of funny if you joined the Discord. My my, my Discord's gonna be the link in the description because um, no one joined it. But yeah. So yeah. Um. Your uh. I chase three games so far. And play fine goofy sounds. And eventually boot it. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed and had fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I hope.
Right. Bye. Bye.